Welcome back. Right now, focusing on the health of our pets, specifically canine cancer. A recent Gallup survey showed that one in four dogs suffer with tumors. I know we lost a dog to a tumor a few years ago. It's very devastating and hard to know what to do, but now there's a canine registry, and here to tell us all about it is Dr. Sue Ettinger and Lisa Conte. We're so grateful they're both with us today. Dr. Ettinger, tell me more about the issue with canine cancer and how common it is. Yeah, so we've always known that it's the number one reason, it's the number one killer in dogs. It's estimated that 50% of dogs over the age of 10, so one in two dogs will have cancer, but we need more information. We There's just been a lack of information. So this Gallup poll surveyed just under 6,000 people and 67% of them were dog owners. And we're learning what's so, information, so important is the incidence and prevalence of cancer. And so the prevalence in 2021 was 3.4, which is less than people People. But what is so scary and so interesting is that the incidence, the newly diagnosed cancer cases in dogs was 2.8%, which is five times, five times what we're seeing in newly diagnosed human cancer cases. So we need this registry to really understand why we're seeing so much dog cancer and then really unpack it and break it down by breed, location, you know, where the geographical location, uh, gender, and things like that. And Lisa, tell me more about this canine registry with Take Charge. So we're launching the registry today. And what it's all about is a long-term commitment for information, for data, for, for real news. And it allows us to have a better assessment of the risk of cancer in our dog and provides the opportunity for early diagnosis, what are the best prevention and treatment options, and overall, how can we provide the best care and comfort for our dogs, and particularly those who are experiencing cancer, which is so prevalent as we're hearing. Dr. Enger, how exactly does this registry work? Yeah, so it started with a retrospective. They reviewed over 35,000 medical records, and then obviously we're looking for a diagnosis of cancer in dogs, and they're collecting all that information. It's de-identified, so it's anonymous, and it's uploaded into a secure database. And then we're going to continue to add more information, and this is where we need the help and why we're here today. So we're looking for veterinary clinics to go and upload information. Again, everything will be anonymous. And also, if you're a pet owner and you have a dog that's been diagnosed with cancer, you too can participate and you can upload your dog's medical record. It's all free, it's all secure. And how exactly can we get more information and find out all about what we can do to support these efforts and to help our canines? So the place to go is to takechargeregistry.com. This is a long-term commitment, so this is just the beginning, and we're looking to have information uploaded and over time see how we are doing. Because a diagnosis of cancer in your dog is a scary event, it's a siloed event, but the great thing about a registry is that it is powered by the common experience of the community, the learning from the community, and allows us to then take charge of our animals' health. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Really appreciate your time in this important subject. Again, we want to make sure that our dogs are as healthy as possible, and it's alarming to know how many canines experience this, one in four, once again. So I encourage you to head to Take Charge, get more information about that registry. We'll be back with more here on Mountain Connections right after this.